My grandmother immigrated from Vienna, Austria in 1939. They crossed by train to Italy, and then from Italy, they went by boat to Shanghai. She lived here in 1943 when the ghetto was established. So this is a picture that I took of her in um, 2019. She was married in 1943 in the synagogue here, and they received the, this wedding certificate. They hung it at my grandma's house because the English writing goes sideways. They had it hanging vertically because they didn't read Chinese. And for 50 years, it hung like that until the interviewers came in 2019 and they realized that it was actually going in the wrong direction. It's nice to have that. Uh, this is my father's name, then my mother, my brother, and me. I was born here. I was for nearly three months. On my birth certificate, I was only the name baby. After my birth, my father was asked to go to the German consulate general. When he came to the consulate, they asked him, what should be the name of your little child, of your daughter? And he said, Sonia. And then they said, no, this name is not in the list. German Jewish uh, children could get or Jewish children could get. I got my names later on from the Chinese or Shanghai Municipal Council. They did write my name in it and gave me the Chinese stamp for it. Later on, my father told me when I was old enough, he told me if you get any difficulties later on, you can always say you were born in Shanghai. <laughs> that doesn't give me a second nationality but it got me a bit uh, hope. So I'm a bit emotional <laughs> today. <laughs>